Today, we're gonna talk about flexibility at SW. <laughs> I thought I was gonna break my butt, actually. <laughs> Come on, Eileen, let's talk about the flexibility of this BA711 space. Yeah, this machine is a little bit different than our usual machines. We have a single spindle. We don't have the double swivel carrier. We usually have with multi-spindle machines. But it's really for big parts that have long cycle times, um, like also agriculture parts, train parts, um, all these variations. We right now have here um, the three axis unit of the BA322. So we're actually machining our own machines. Um, and this machine keeps the customer flexible with lower amounts of production um, volume. Uh, so smaller to mid-size production lines have a great benefit of this. As we talk about the flexibility of this machine, it's very obvious to myself and the audience watching, it's a massive machine. And we're talking about one spindle, not a dual or a quad, because we want all of that space, right? Correct. So as we're getting into that, that's part of the flexibility. And typically when we're machining parts this large, there's gonna be a long cycle time, but people can add robots and automation to keep it running through the night if they want to, to add to that flexibility, right? Correct, yeah. So um, it's hard to manually load and unload a piece like this. It's just really heavy. So SW has all the solutions to tie in automation so you can load and unload from on top. That's why you see this L-shaped door. Um, so the robot will not be in your way. You can stop underneath the robot um, and then the robot, you know, picks it up and puts it back down. So you can really run it all night without any issues. Yeah, that makes sense to me. And something else I want to talk a little bit about, Eileen, is when we think of manufacturing, I would say it's even more rarely discussed about the agricultural world and the train world. So can we talk a little bit more about that? Because I think there's a specific audience out there that would like to learn more about how this machine supports that in those industries. Mm -hmm. um, these industries are actually from the parts not that far away from automotive. We sometimes think it's a different world. It has some other criteria and sometimes uses different materials, but it really is similar because a motor block is a motor block. It's just really the size that varies and the numbers. So in automotive, we really try to have the high, the most efficient way. Uh, but then, you know, in, in um, agriculture or train parts, you still need some sort of volume, but not as much. And I want to talk about another topic as well, because when we get into these large machines, sometimes that accuracy gets lost because the space is just so much, right? We're talking about flexibility, yes, but when we talk about this large machine, when we talk about SW, we don't lose that precision accuracy, and of course we have the rigidity that goes along with it as well? Correct, because we still have the monoblock system. We still have our core design system in here, so uh, temperature is not a problem. The dynamic is still really high with our box and box three axis unit. You know, there's still um, all the benefits, really, that we have. The only thing that's um, not as common, maybe, for a machine is the zero point clamping fixture, so quick change uh, fixtures that we have on this machine to really be flexible. And quick change is, you know, kind of a buzzword for a lot of people out there. Um, but there might be, again, a percentage of people that are just learning about quick change. As you know, you are a global company as we are a global company. So can we quickly just go over quick change as well? Sure. Um, you have the zero point clamping, which means uh, right now you have 700 millimeters here where you have a plate that's easily uh, can be changed. So the fixtures are easily mounted and unmounted. You can just use a crane here or whatever you need to do to either lift it or uh, pick it up from the ceiling. Um, and that way you can change work pieces really fast in this machine. Which adds to that flexibility, correct, right? Correct, correct. <laughs> well, my back is hurting a little bit from that jump, and Eileen is way better at this than me, so we're gonna go ahead and close out this interview. I hope you've learned as much as I had today. Eileen, you are amazing on camera. Thank you Thank for you. educating us about this BA711 space. Fascinating machine, fascinating industry. Thank you all for watching and tune in again soon.